special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, and Madlo for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, War of the Walkers mod. So, still sick, um, throat is a mess. Just breathing, it feels like I want to just cough the whole time, but I'm going to try and push through it and hopefully get a few re uh, recordings done. So, during Horde Night, I realized, or after the Horde Night, I still had one of these to read. I actually was scrolled right over it, down to where the three points one and another one was. But yeah, we have one more left, so let's just quickly read this one. I want to see these armors. This is definitely better than what I have on right now. Okay, so we should probably just take these off then. Let me just do that. Modify. I know you can just go into the character screen and it's easy enough to do it there as well, but for now let's just do that. Okay, then we have a tungsten helmet. Explosion resistance goes down. Wait, what do I have on at the moment? Okay, now, wow, the green one's way better. Obviously, the heavy armor rating is insane for the tungsten helmet, but because the level is so crappy, it's a really crappy level. Um, Yeah, it's just not worth it at this stage. Okay, then also, we have a steel baseball bat. We picked this up uh, or during Horde Night. I think this one's still better. If you click on this one and then hover over this one, it shows this one's stats are all green. So the legendary rat is still our go-to weapon for now, so we can actually sell that or get rid of it. Steel pick, um, is it this one that I repaired? Yeah, we actually have two. I repaired this one, so now we can actually go and do a little bit more block damage. Why don't I just do that? Nope. Please somehow stop it before it repaired. Yeah, phew, I got it back. Um, yeah, I mustn't repair it. I must modify it. Man, I almost messed up just now. I don't want to waste any tool repair kits because we're going to need it for the shovels. Okay, now all we need is like a steel axe. We have the scrap iron fire axe, but we need a proper steel axe. This one over here, um, I need to keep using this one. I'm going to put the spike mods on this one after I'm done. For now, we still have a kill quest. We have to kill like 20 zombies with that weapon. Then over here, we have a steel club. Yeah, legendary bat is still way better. Although the steel club, stamina cost is way higher than this one. So if you look at the damage, for example, yeah, the damage is more than double. Basically, the Steel Club is actually a really good weapon. Well, no, no, this one's damage is just a little bit over half. Like the, no, no, it's... Technically, for the amount of stamina cost, the Steel Club is better than the Legendary Bat. Because the stamina cost for Legendary Bat is high. Although, I've tested the le Legendary Bat, and I know it's OP as hell, so I'm going to keep using that one. Nice, Steel Gloves, but what do I have on at the moment? See, this one has two mods on, that's the only problem. But, that is a small trade-off for something that gives you this much better stats. So I'm going to go for Steel Armor. Only one mod. Which one? The Armor Plating, plus 3 Armor, or Storage. If I don't have that on, we have two slots not working. Let's try this for now then. And then on my, what do you call it? Leggings. So my Leg Armor over here, we can actually go and do this. And then if we have one that can take another mod, we'll put one of this on. This should be able to... No, it's, it can't. Damn. Okay, so unfortunately... Oh, oh! This one already has a bandit armor. Damn, I need better gear. I need way, way better gear. Even the helmet can only hold two mods. So this one and the storage or the light. So for now, I'm going to take this armor off. I just lost one armor, didn't I? But it's worth having the best armors and stuff in the game. Okay, so I'm going to sell this to the trader. I'm going to keep this on me. Uh, I'm going to try and sell these if I can. I figured this mod it, uh, is the same as where you have to combine stuff. Let me just keep this one. You have to combine stuff, uh, the mods and the clothing, to get better price. It's different from Darkest Fall, for example. Okay, we're going to put this one over here. And then this ratchet, I'm going to compare it against my... Where did I put my tools? Against my wrench over here. So if you click on this one and you hover over this one, this one's weaker. But it's because this one's green and modded. If I unmod it... No, why do I keep doing that? Oh, damn it. I just wasted a repair kit. And it didn't need repairs. I keep clicking, I'm clicking on the wrong one. Okay, at least I think it's, yeah, it's still better at least. So, uh, but it's still, that was a waste. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, put that there. Steal that as well. I'm going to sell that. We're going to keep the wrench. I want to keep the wrench with me because I run the wrench stuff on the way as we go. Uh, we do have breaching rounds, so we need to start using those. And then we should be good to go. Let me just put the clothing pieces away. Boom. 
Um, this thing, I think, is better. Wait, is it better than what I'm wearing right now? No, okay, both of them are purple. So I'll rather go for this one, even though the stamina is lower. Nothing else, really, right? We do have other clothing pieces, but basically for now, we need other stuff. Wait. Okay, so we have our glasses. So 3, 6, 9, 13 that we have to lock. Thought the container just to make sure there's nothing at the bottom. And yeah, let's go. So, uh, food and drink first. I have skill points that I want to spend. And I just realized for a moment there, I was like, mm, what did I want to spend it in again? What I want to go and do is I want to do as many quests as possible. Now, I thought this was locked under a class. But, yeah, sometimes, yeah, look at that. Craft a, wait, this one says craft a mini bike, chassis and handlebars. Then craft a mini bike. But it still says, yeah, truck. So I think this is bugged. Because just now I was on the hunting and I struggled switching. Look at that. It doesn't switch over. So for some reason, it doesn't show the mini bike recipe thing. But didn't I already do the mini bike? I think I'm only supposed to do the... Gather resource required, craft, craft armor, and then wear the armor. See, for some reason, it doesn't show the right one. I'm so confused right now. This one says craft the mini bike chassis, but it says 4x4. I am so I think we already did the mini bike, so this is a bug. There's definitely a bug with the quest severe. But yeah, uh, basically I thought that you needed uh, a certain class, but I think I was locked on the level. That's why I was so confused. Basically, we need to go for Daring Adventurer. Because now we can get two requests or two rewards from the trader. I need to be able to do more block damage as well. There you go. What is what are these? Unlocks a recipe for crafting medium-sized schematic bundles at the blueprint. Okay, so it's basically like just a large bundle of stuff that you can craft. Bundles, unlocks the ability to bundle cloth, leather. Okay, that's all space. Oh, someone actually said that I missed at the trader a book for storage. Uh craft items at workstation 25% faster. I do probably need to start investing in this one. Better barter, I need to be able to get better deals with the traders. There's one that, that works a lot with storage. I want to try and actually go for that one a little bit more. But I can't remember which one that is, actually. Uh, parkour, I am good right now. Thank you. Healing factor, pain tolerance, those need to go up. There's one that actually has to do with, uh, like, storage. Like, uh, large storage, small storage, that kind of stuff. Health deploy. What is this? Unlocks recipe for crafting a health deploy. What is a health deploy? Just a station that heals you, I think. Okay, uh, let me just do this. Molotovs, power turrets. I need to start thinking of what I'm going to do for my next award. Forge tungsten. I'm just going to get... I don't know. I have no idea what that kind of cement is. Let me just get it because we might need it later. Door, light and tech. Gyrocopter, windsurf, a raft. We don't need any of these right now. There's something to do with recipes, like with storage, that I could have bought at the trader, but I didn't see. If I can find that. I might have misunderstood a little bit. Who knows? But yeah, these are just recipes for these weapons, right? I do need to make these weapons for one of my class quests. But for now, let's just see what else I can make. Tool workstation. Why not? Ammo workstation. Ammo forge. Ammo workstation. Okay, so I'm starting to get all the workstations that I think is good. Remember, guys, I have no idea what this mod entails. I might be messing up right now by going for these first. Fishing pole. Okay, so we can actually go for food with that. These are all action skills. Using these tools and the weapons, whatever, is going to level that up. These are just for damage. Build blunt weapons with 100% damage. Uh, that's just for basic uh, more damage. I should probably go for this one to increase my base for that. But since we started to use more weapons now, like a shotgun and all that stuff, I need to go for these. Because the higher those skills are, the better for us. Okay, there's still mother load over here, so that gives us more resources. Oh yeah, we need to see what other stuff, other classes we can do. Soldier apparently has like different kinds of guns you can make. So I wonder, like when does it start giving you new guns you can make? Is it, uh, it unlocks the recipe for, to craft a FN scar. I want to see if there's any other recipes that unlocks as we go. Because they, I'm, I'm looking for the shotgun, the HD shotgun. There's a dragon of. And nothing else. So over here, it should actually unlock stuff. It just says unlocks this car. What I want... Oh, that's under the rifles. Shotguns. I want to unlock the... Okay, that's a Remington. 
This one. This is the one I want. It's an HD shotgun. Basically, all the slugs that we have over here is for that shotgun, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know my guns, but I think that goes in that weapon. Okay. Uh, let's see. I still have skill points left, right? I wonder if I shouldn't at least save these two for now. Although, mother load. We need mother load. Food, oh, ovens and stuff, medical, gambling. There's still so much we can make. Someone actually said there's something I can make under covert. I can't remember what it was. It's just, it, I know it's something really good. Investment bank. This thing over here, purchase this perk to unlock a uh, recipe to craft an invest investment bank. Basically, you earn coins this way. I wonder if I shouldn't go for luck looter. Uh, it's locked under covert class. Okay. Um, so what we can go for at this stage is a heavy armor. Well, basically, we're just going to be able to move better. Improve durability by 50% and movement penalty decreases by 5. We are wearing more iron and steel, so this is actually a good one. But, oh, this isn't unlocked yet. I want to get, oh, mother load. I want to get mother load, man. Salvage operations. Also, I need, to, I need to make sure we get these technician classes and stuff done as soon as possible. But my question now is... What must I make? Because those quests don't show the proper things. Okay, uh, let me just see quickly. Uh, heavy armor, we'll go for... No, we'll go for shotguns. I want to see if we can't get that, uh, that other shotgun. But yeah, basically, with these classes bugged, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. It does say you gather resources, craft cloth armor, and then wear armor. Let's just try that. So cloth armor, right? I'm just going to be very mad if I waste cloth right now. The cloth and I think you need this as well. Cloth armor recipes. It's not padded. Is it the padded ones? Let me just see. Chest. Iron leather. Padded chest. I'm guessing it's the padded stuff. We're supposed to make these and then wear them. If we don't get the reward for it though, that's a waste of resources. I think I'm actually uh, actually at making iron clothing right now. If I'm not mistaken, the last thing I had to make was scrap iron armor. Now I have to make iron armor. I don't want to go and waste resources because I think I'm a little bit further than it shows over here. I'm just so afraid of doing the wrong thing and wasting those resources. I do need to make fire axes and stuff and then the 4x4 over here. But this one, I just wish this changed so I know exactly what I need to make. I need to find a blue seal and then we need to go do quests. The more quests we can do right now, the better. Um, Let me just see... Let's go do the fetch, and perhaps even go for the books, because if we can lock, unlock more recipes, that's recipes that I don't have to go and invest in with skill points. So it is this direction. Guys, this mod is actually very intricate. Like, there's so much stuff that you have to unlock, to unlock, to unlock. But as soon as you figure out which one, uh, what to do, um, it actually becomes more fun. Well, I think I need to still kill animals... Guys, this gun is super loud now. The game sound is to 40%. And it feels like my ears are bleeding when it's like gunshots and stuff. I think that bunny died. I should probably go for all the bookstores and towers and stuff. I just wish that the Alpha 19 bookstore was still a thing. Okay, every time we see a bunny or something... There you go. We still need to go do the other bunker thing. Um, I'm actually hoping for some really good loot. But I want to make sure we can actually get our lucky looter high before we go do the military bunker. This thing over here, military mine. As you guys know, there's so many hardened chests and safes and stuff in there. If our game state or our loot stage and everything was nice and high, we'd actually be guaranteed good items. So I want to make sure that by the time we go loot it, we actually have the COVID class at least. Oh, ooh, a cracker book. Okay, this is just a fetch quest, but I'm still going to clear the whole place. I need to work on my stamina more though. Okay, I just want to make sure we first clear out the place before I start looting. Hello, hello, hello. Some of you feral? Well, are you? Yep. Aim, John. Aim, 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 aim. We are bat, bat, bat. Oh, I forgot. I need. I have this one. I still have to kill a certain amount of zombies with my club, so why not? 
I need to be careful. These feral ones are way tougher. So I shouldn't be wasting... I shouldn't be messing about like this. I should be using my best weapons when clearing a place out. And the only zombies I come across... Yeah, let's just use this one. Only when we come across, like, really tough zombies. Oh, I don't have a bow or anything. Only when we come across really tough zombies do we then go... Oh, what's wrong with your arm? Do we go and... On the outside? No. Tough zombies? This weapon. Let me just do this. If we can use the club to finish them off, that'd be okay. But technically, we should only use the club outside. There you go. There's still a zombie back here. What's going to be in there? What's going to be in there? Oh, hello, hello, hello. There's always a zombie hiding in there, but they're always so late to respond. Or most of the times, at least. I need to be careful that I don't run out of stamina right now. Because that is going to suck. I wonder if the Iron Hoe also gives you more resources in this mod. It should, right? Okay, let me just finish killing all the zombies and then we can loot all these books. All these sweet, sweet books. I know there's a ton of zombies on the roof, so I need to be careful of that. I wonder, you know what? Are these rooms on their own, I'm just I'm gonna quickly loot. I don't have to come back into these. I need to make sure that I break those doors as well. There's a few times already where the zombies were hiding inside the toilets and I couldn't see them until they broke out. I'm trying to be very cautious right now. Let me just close that, close this. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's something in the roof over here. Okay, the vultures up top just spawned in. That's the wings flapping you just heard. Okay, um, yeah, the reason I brought my wrench with me is we need engines and stuff for the 4x4. Also, if I can just buy the... No, but I think I have to craft the chassis and stuff. If I could just buy the chassis and all that stuff, it'd be so much easier getting stuff done. And then also, when I come across these, I need to go and wrench them. Uh, let me just do this. Reason being is you get a ton of forged iron, so I don't have to go and then craft my own. Let me just use a legendary bat. Hello, zombie. There's a ton of resources over here as well, which is a good thing that I actually invested into my minus 69er. Because I invested into my minus 69er, I'll now be able to go and... Oh, nice. Um, and I'll be able to go and break down resources a lot easier as well. I was about to say, I could have sworn there was a chest or something inside of here. It's weird that in this mod, crowbars are only good for safes. Like, the, the crap on crates and stuff like that, you just still have to use your fire axe. But on safes like this and hardened chests and stuff, oh, it's a dream come true. Uh, should probably do this. There you go. It's one power attack. It's not that bad. The door's closed. I need to be careful of zombies just coming from the front as well. How many shots is it going to take? Two shots. Nice. Ooh, and this is left click. So, minus 69 helps a lot. If I could just get a steel shovel or get a few more mods for this shovel, we'll be able to break blocks so much faster. Every time I see a plant or something move in the distance, I'm like, oh no, zombie. I thought it was like a vulture or something attacking me just now. See, every time I plant or something moves. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if scrap polymer sells for much in this mod. So I don't want to waste time on it, but it might actually turn out to be good. I don't know why, but in the past year or so, every time I play Seven Days to Die, I just get way more and more paranoid. Like this tiny bit of grass moving over here. Every time it catches the corner of my eye, I feel like, oh no, zombie. And then there's nothing there. Like there wasn't, uh, there wasn't anything there. But it just feels like there's something. Okay, uh, unfortunately we don't have a bow or anything. It would have been good to be able to kill these vultures with the bow. I could use a pistol, but I'm going to wake up all the zombies. Let you come to me. Yep. Left click. Nice. And this time we have our range with us. So now we can get all the mechanical parts and stuff from all of the air conditioners over here. Oh, wow. Power attack gives you one per shot. Nice. Not bad. 
I just know there's gonna be more vultures. I need to be as calm as possible. Uh, you know what? Um, I wish there was a way to make this your stamina. It doesn't make sense that this is water and this is food. Obviously, stamina and health need to be next to each other, but still, wow, it feels weird. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Make some space quickly. Okay. Um, large storage. Oh, what do we need to make the very large storage? The extra large. We go X large. Storage and comfort. So if I'm gonna craft this, oh, it's underneath the tradesman. Yeah, look at this. A storage and comfort. I think it was one of these books that I was able to buy from the trader, but I didn't. Hello. If you're feral, you are gone. Yeah, you are feral. While she's too dumb to get out, let's just try and see. But we can't get the 20 kills like this. Nice, we're getting way more and more. Uh, what do you call it? More and more steel tools. I need to try and left click as much as possible. I keep power attacking and then my stamina runs out way too fast. Wait. Oh, I climbed up here and I jumped there. That's why I was so confused just now. I just know there's going to be another bird or something somewhere. I want to be very, very careful. But technically, if I can just get these guys' attention, let them jump to me. There's a zombie there. There's a zombie back there. Yeah, if I can at least get the spider. Okay, and you are a slowpoke. Let him come to me. I don't want him falling through the glass over there. But basically, the spider is our biggest threat because it can break our legs or sprain our legs. And boom. Remember guys, wait for that head to point to you before you do anything. Oh, I still need to do a fetch quest. It's, it's up here somewhere. I've been so focused on getting or killing the zombies just now that I almost forgot that this is a fetch supplies. It shows that the supplies... Yep, right there. Okay, um, I'm actually going to do this. Let me just do this. So I want the supplies to be right there. Oh, there's still a zombie over there. You know what? You can come to me. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Carol, yo. Oh, that was a nice shot. That was actually a very nice shot. Oh, I should probably make sure that I have the right glasses. Yeah, we do. As soon as we loot the final stash, I need to put my other glasses on. I've noticed that this mod lags a lot. Bring hold that just like that just now when I jumped. It lags quite a bit. Oh, yes, another covert one. The more of these covert ones we get, the better. Okay, I know there's going to be a dog inside there. There's almost always a dog. If I could just have my shotgun at the ready and a frame or two to put in front of the door, perhaps. And we have books. Ooh, also a duffel bag over there. Hello? No, there's definitely something in there. Yep, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Oops, no, 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 I want to do this, I want to do this, and boom. Okay, unfortunately, the damage to the frame just now, but yeah, and there's almost always a dog in here. There's almost never not one. Okay, so since this is, okay, except for the tools, the cracker book section, I should be able to just go and do with my current glasses on. It's just basically going to give me schematics and stuff. But, like a toolbox, I need to put, uh, make sure that I put my other glasses on. The best glasses for that occasion. Technically, looting also gives you XP, so you want to make sure you have the XP glasses on. But, when you know that the loot might be awesome, like these over here... Boom. I can't wait to hand this into the trader and get double rewards. Finally. But I also want to drive around a bit and see if we can't find another trader. A proper trader. Ooh, this is better than what we have on. Nice. 
You know what? Before we go downstairs, let me just make sure I put those on then. Let's put this on. Oh, yes. I think we'll be able to put the other mod on there as well. That is very, very good. Okay. Uh, put that on. Mod this one. Yes. Okay. Remember, we have an armor plating mod at the base that I put into the storage. We can now put it on the shoes. Nice, nice, nice. I should probably keep my... Uh, what do you call it? Arrows. I want to scrap them, but I should probably keep them in case later I start using a bow more. It's just a nice. It's gonna be nice being able to fire a uh, weapon at the zombies without them immediately responding. Like you want to get attention, uh, the attention of just one zombie, uh, for example. Okay, now we have to go downstairs. Um, I don't want to break my legs jumping. I do have the full protection thing, but you still don't want to take any chances. Oh, there's, there's going to be a ton of schematics that we don't know yet, guys. Um, there's a few skills that I wanted to buy, like being able to make guns, make weapons. And if I can find all of the schematics for those weapons, then I don't have to worry about investing any skill points. I just wish, you know, you see how this pile just disappeared? I wish that the same could happen with bookcases. Like you loot it and it just becomes empty. Like it turns from that into this. That'd be kind of cool. Come on, give me some good stuff. I should probably go block that door off just in case a wandering ward gets in. Although with my jumping ability, I can easily jump on top of these bookcases and get to safety. Okay, yeah. Uh, unfortunate thing about these Alpha 20 bookcases, I think they were also in Alpha 19, right? These thin ones. Is the fact that if you loot one side, it's looted. In Alpha 19 or 18, I'm sure you're already getting confused with the mod, uh, with the alphas. But yeah, basically those bookcases, it's two different ones. So you can loot this side and this side. I don't know why they took that away as an option. Okay, uh, let's get the resources. This tool belt is so large, I need to remember exactly where I put what weapon or tool. Especially since, like, for example, I want to use the club now. So I need to remember where the club is compared to my shovel and stuff. Ooh, ah, uh, let's get this. I think we should, we actually have enough leather at the base. But you can never have enough. If, uh, if Darkness Fool taught me, oh, uh, Darkness Fool. A Darkness Fools taught me anything is that you can never have too much of anything. Because later you might just regret not collecting everything when you had a chance. Okay, I should probably go for all of these books in the middle as well, but we'll move over to that side now. Now let's just make sure we get all the books in between the bookcases of yours as well. It's very easily, or, or is, I don't know why my brain's so tired. It's very easy to accidentally walk over a pile of books. It looks like it's just a pile of papers. Well, books are papers, but you, you get what I mean. At least these stacks of books, they're really easy to see. But as soon as they're just like papers on the floor, it's really hard. Like this could have been books just now. Okay, there's no books this side. Remember guys, the ones on their side, look at this, look at this. I missed this one. But yeah, these ones on their sides also sometimes have books on the sides over here. So you have to be, keep your eye open. Because just now you get some really good schematics and you missed it the first time. I think we cleared all the zombies out. I'm always so unsure. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this pure eye, I don't know if it's this one or another one that I'm thinking of. But actually I had like cops and stuff fall in my head once. So every time I lose a place like this, I'm like, did I really kill or clear out all the zombies? There's always that uncertainty in the back of your mind. Because if you didn't, you might just have a problem. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm playing on Feral Sense with this mod. But if you compare this mod to Darkest Falls, the Feral Sense over there is just way too OP. Yeah, it's a little bit more, okay, if you just fire a few gunshots, then the zombies start coming for you. In Darkest Falls, you just breathe and the zombies are on you. Guys, there's so many mods out there that I still want to test. Uh, the nice thing is, like you guys know, oh, as some of you know, I am... Well, I quit my job. So at the end of the month, I'll just be free to do a 7 days to die as much as I'd like. So then actually, I'm thinking of doing like Netflix specials. Like where I record a ton of 7 days to die content, upload it, and release it in one go. And then you guys can like, have like a movie or series to watch that way. I don't know if it's going to work uh, out well that way or not, but it's something that might just be fun. Actually, I think I did it in the past as well with Where's UK. 
a mod for example like zombie days which i know is not going to get any updates that's a perfect one to pre-record because you know nothing's going to change Ooh, night vision how to craft night vision mods nice okay now these schematics you can scrap or sell i'm actually gonna i, I first want to see exactly how much cash we need before i decide if i want to keep them or uh, scrap them but for now yeah look at this there's a nice amount of schematics so we did fetch what we needed to fetch now there's a bookstore over there as well and that treasure crate over there i think let's go for the treasure, the treasure crate because there might be some good weapons in there um it is almost night time and my food and water is running out so i should probably get back to the base as well and speaking of base i want to still build my own base i want to one build my own base and two i want to go explore and see if we can't find more traders i want to design a base where we can actually use these um npcs as turrets so if i can get that design right that'll be so awesome you guys i think i'm just gonna call it an episode yeah if you guys like this episode please like to the friends comment and subscribe feedback leave it down below and if you guys are new to this channel please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content see you guys next time for some more war of the walkers fun a big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support to join them in supporting the channel please click join or the patreon link in the description down below